Uh, first of all, I appreciate the discussion and, and all the panelists for, um, for just a really great dialogue that happened here today. But I do want to follow up on, on something that, that Karen was talking about as it relates to STEM education particularly. Because when you think about the landscape in the developed world, where there has been better access to capital, certainly, than in the developing world, and, and more progressive policies to, to support working families, in some cases better um, than others. But there has been a stagnation in terms of closing that gender wage gap. And it's really sort of persisted and stayed. It, it closed, 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 and then flatlined over a decade ago. And it stayed that way. And when you really break down the reason for that and what's causing that, it's women traditionally have infields. And when you look at industry segmentation, you have a lack of participation of women in higher growth fields like STEM fields and computer science fields. Um, and you also have an unfortunate circumstance where traditionally women do dominated sectors of the economy are undervalued financially and are underpaid financially. So I think both need to be disrupted. We need to get more men into so-called women's fields, and we need to get more women into um, STEM fields where our participation rates are really abysmal. I am incredibly fearful that when you look out and you think about where the future of work is going, that if women continue to represent only 13% of engineers in the United States or continue to represent only 24% of computer science professionals, that the gender wage gap is actually going to grow as opposed to contract in the years to come. So I think this is something we need to address. It's something that this administration in the United States is very, very focused on. Each president has the opportunity to prioritize for the Department of Education what they want them to focus on. And um, the president issued a presidential memorandum just last month instructing the Department of Education to prioritize STEM education. And in the guidance required that gender and racial diversity be considered when granting um, the, the money towards all of the different programs so that the programs are actually designed to encourage gender diversity and to encourage racial diversity and to prioritize computer science. So I think it's critical that we think about occupational challenges and making sure that there's more equitable balance in especially the high growth industries as, as we look forward as um, and as we think generally about the future of work in our own countries and, and around the world.